Hello, my name is Dan Langua. I'm the VP Investments for the Calgary Foundation. And along with my great investment team, we're responsible for the management of the primary endowment portfolio. The purpose of this webcast is to walk listeners through the endowment's investment strategy and target asset allocations. I'll also share the first quarter performance figures and some priorities for the coming year. Now, last July, the Calgary Foundation conducted an asset mix review given changes to the Canadian Revenue Agency's guidelines that raised the charitable disbursement quota to 5% from 3.5%. The change in the DQ means the endowment's rolling 10-year real return objective is now 6% to keep pace with our new grant distribution rate of 5%, and service cost of one. The asset mix review led to minor changes in the endowment strategic asset allocation that at the margin will help to mitigate risk and the event of equity market dislocation while bringing the portfolio closer to its long-term real return objective. The major change was reducing public equity in favor of bonds and real assets, as well as a modest bump in private equity. Also, the foreign public equity mandates were consolidated into one global allocation. These changes are meant to improve the diversification, support the long-term capital preservation, and position the portfolio to meet its new return objective. This slide highlights these recent changes. From 2023, you can see bonds are up to 16% and foreign public equities have decreased. Over the next few years, the Calgary Foundation will be adding to the endowment's private infrastructure and private equity allocations. This next slide shows a list of investment committee members and managers and GPs that make up the endowment portfolio. Last year, the Calgary Foundation replaced the endowment's active international public equity mandate with the global one following a comprehensive search process. The global universe of securities has greater breadth and depth, which we believe makes the global mandate better positioned to outperform over the longer term. The Calgary Foundation has also reinvested with two private equity infrastructure managers. These investments will bring the endowment closer to its target real asset class exposure. Building out an alternative investment platform does take time. Strategic investment pacing allows for better diversification across assets and time horizon. It requires planning and maintenance to achieve and maintain target exposure to private assets. Slide four, this slide provides a snapshot of performance, which is positive at 8.8% over the one year period ending March 31st. Short-term performance did not outpace the policy benchmark or the median Canadian balance fund. The endowment typically underperforms when public markets experience big rallies due to its alternative investment exposure, which are slower to respond to market shifts. The opposite is true typically, in negative markets, where our alternative asset class allocations provide a cushion and often enhance relative performance. Over the longer term, the endowment has outperformed four out of the past five rolling four-year periods. The portfolio has surpassed the median balance fund by 1% for both the seven and 10-year period. And over the longer term, defined as 10 years, the endowment has met its long-term 6% real rate of return objective. Next, I'll share some priorities for the coming year. The Calgary Foundation's top priorities are navigating volatility within this height, with heightened portfolio monitoring. The investment team meets frequently with managers, particularly those that oversee the private investments, for updates about health and the stability of the underlying assets. The team conducts quarterly liquidity modeling to ensure good cushion of cash and fixed income investments to fund cash outflows in the event particularly of a market downturn. The Calgary Foundation will also continue to build out the endowment's alternative investment platform. The investment team accomplishes this in two ways. First, by resubscribing or reinvesting with existing managers or by hiring new ones. Reinvestment occurs when the predecessor fund performs well compared to its peers and the investment strategy still makes sense given the market expectations at the time of renewal. The investment team will also consider changes in a manager's operational stability if their investment process and the legal terms of engagement. The team has recently reinvested with two existing infrastructure managers as noted before. 
The Calgary Foundation will be seeking new private equity relationships in the coming year to help meet a small bump in the allocation following the asset optimization process. Now, please feel free to reach out to the Calgary Foundation's capacity building team if you have any follow-up questions and they can direct them to the appropriate team member. Thank you.